and I hope they work against my almighty Twitch deck. That's what I said. I didn't type that out, though. Who typed them for me? Madoka Magica in the anime. Oh. Yeah. The pick from I'll Be Right Back. Oh, that's Kyoko from Madoka Magica. Or Madoka Magica. Whatever. Same thing. If this card battles a light monster, remove that monster from play after damage calculation. Shit. He got me. It's Ally of Justice monsters. I can't do anything against them. Maybe Dream Clown can help me out. I adore Madoka. Madoka, yeah. Madoka Magica is pretty great. Unhappy girl, super countered. She really is. Huh. You thought you could destroy my cards. Actually, yeah, the effect would go off before I use Dream Clown's effect. Oh, never mind. Looks like it activates from the graveyard. That really shouldn't have happened, but I'm not going to complain. Ooh. I guess it's Aki from 5Ds. Can't wait for new stuff. Oh yeah, they said they were going to do some new stuff with it, didn't they? Wait, teen. Wait, teen. <laughs> it's time for Spell Striker. You thought going in defense position would protect your life points, did you? Little did you know, I had Spell Striker in my deck. Spell Striker allows me to attack you directly. On top of that, even if you do try to destroy him, he takes no battle damage from any attack. He's even better than a defense vision monster. She has a loving family and best friends, laugh and cries from time to time. Madoka Kaname, an eighth grader of Mitakar. Oh, okay, so you just. This is the beginning of a new story for Magical Girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the description makes it sound kind of dumb. But it's actually really good. And the description is very misleading purposefully because it makes the, the twist to the show a lot more impactful. If you go into the show thinking it's just about cutesy magical girls. <laughs> That's what I thought too. I just kind of watched it because it was in English. And boy was I super pleasantly surprised. Neither player can special summon any light monsters. Return spell trap cards in the field of the hand up to the number of tutor monsters on the field. Damn him. The only play I have left is the unhappy girl. While this card is, uh, cannot be destroyed by battle. A monster that battled this card can't change its battle position except with a card effect or attack while this card is face up attack position. Alright. Let's attack. Your ally of justice, Cyclone Creator. Haha, <laughs> now he can't attack anymore, nor change his battle position. I recommended the Spell Striker. Winning with Spell Striker feels so good. <laughs> oh look, it's it's Con 34321. Gonna go watch again, probs. The T13 is sort of the phone. Wait, was he able to attack me again? I don't think so. I'm glad in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 they made Yuza important to the plot instead of regulating her role to the side character status. Oh no, I fell into his trap! You sure did. Now how are you going to do anything with both of your cards unable to attack me? It's not like you can go into a Synchro Summon or anything. <laughs> You're basically stuck. How about I just set this monster right now and just leave the unhappy girl in attack position. She gives other cards bad feels. Tier 0 lock there. Anything new with the Iron Man? Did you die when I was gone? Nope. But it's still alive. I'm thinking about playing that tomorrow. But today it's Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Kotori. I'm glad we didn't have another Kotori. What's Kotori? Let me see. Uh oh, my burning skull got destroyed. Damn it! Kotori Itsuka. Favorite candy from Date Alive. She looks just like the girl from that one old god anime. Oh, Kotori from Love Live, too. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Ally of Justice. Decisive armor. Once per turn, if one controls a face up light monster, select one card, one controls, destroy it. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy all spell and trap cards, one controls. Send all cards in your hand to the graveyard. Uh, look at your opponent's hand, send all light monsters in their hand to the graveyard. Then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total attack your opponent's monster sent to the graveyard. You're lucky I have a light type monster on the field. You can actually use decisive armor. I did that on purpose to give you a, a handicap, so to speak, because I know how good this deck is. Now, once the unhappy girl attacks you, you'll no longer be able to attack. <laughs> and then I'll use Dream Clown to destroy you on my next turn, since you can no longer attack me. Did you collect any fake cards as a child? I want to start a collection and run a legit deck. Yeah, I have a couple of fake cards. I have way more real cards, though. Let's see, say, uh, is it right, Yoichi? I don't know why you, you, you keep trying to call me Yoichi, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's not an insult, it, it's just the first name of the character my thing is named after. Uh oh. Any light monster that this card battles has its effect negated starting after damage calculation. Damn you! And your ally of justice cards. With evil heroes combined with Neospatians. 69 views, dual logs. Ah, if only I had one more card. Just one more card out. If your opponent controls two or more light monsters, including a light monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Damn it, Ally of Justice Kaz Cosmic Gateway. That's too good. You guys are all playing really good decks that I just can't beat. I totally won because of my skill, not because of Twitch deck building. <laughs> Justice always prevails. Well, you always put the 3, 4, 3, 2, 1 after my name. I think it's fair. Okay. Whatever. Uh... That's right, all my monsters are light. A lot of them are just light inherently. They don't even need DNA transplant. All I need to do is just survive one more turn and I can make a comeback. Except I'm dead. Ugh, if only unhappy girl's effect wasn't negated. It should be a lingering effect. It should be unaffected by effect negations.